Hey everyone, welcome into the channel. Um, I hope everyone's having a great start to their fall. Uh, believe it or not, uh, I, you know, I live in Claremont, Florida, so believe it or not, it does feel like fall here in Florida for a few reasons. One, we have our big fall events at the theme parks and we start getting ready for those in mid-summer. And to be honest, as September and October and even November move on, it does get a little bit cooler here and it feels fallish. I should say uh, maybe less hot instead of cooler, but we do have our cool nights here. But anyway, this is all this to say is that um, today's the last day of September and I did want to put this up for October 1st just to kind of get in the halloween -y mood. Uh, last week we went to HHN uh, 32 and it was a blast. We had a blast. Um, and when we got there, we're not big on uh, Halloween Horror Nights merchandise so much, but when we saw this, these monster, these minion monster mystery pin sets, uh, we knew we had to get them. We we're into pins. Um, recently, Universal, you know, Universal always had pins, and they're starting to get into pin trading too. I think there's one spot only in Universal Studios by the Central Park section uh, that does trading and I'm gonna get that into that in another video but I'm really excited to open these on camera with you guys today I think they're so adorable um, they come in a set let me see it's one two here you go I'll just show you there's two four six pins in this set there's count Dave Acular, monster Bob creature Mel the invisible Tom mummy Stewart and the chaser pin being zombie Tim so we're gonna see if we can get all these today. We have a decent chance. I did get um, six boxes of these. They retail, uh, as you may have seen, for $20, but with your AP discount, it does get you a decent amount off that price. Um, but when I saw these, I had to get these. I'm a big horror fan. I do love the minions. And just, I was telling Ead like two weeks ago, it'd be cool if we saw some characters at HN where it was like a mixture of the um, minions and monsters together. So, uh, and then, you know, as soon as I saw this, I was like, damn, I gotta get this. So this is really, really cool. So we're gonna unbox these without further ado, and we're gonna see if we could get uh, all six pins, the whole set. So let's start opening these up. You know, while we're opening these up, our favorite houses um, in HSN were Monsters Unmasked. Our least favorite was Chucky. We did not get to do Last of Us because the night we went, it was torrential rain, literally the whole event, and they closed Last of Us and some of the houses. The other houses they closed, we actually managed to get to first, so we didn't miss those, but Last of Us, we missed. And as we were taking the ferry back to Portofino, um, they opened Last of Us. They opened Last of Us, so we didn't get a chance to do it, so we might go back and do it, so we gotta see. Uh, okay, so I opened my first one, and we got the Invisible Tom. So I'm using a GoPro for the first time in a while, so I'm not sure how it's gonna pick up on video. Hopefully it's picking up okay. And I'm also filming outside, which I don't uh, really do too often. So I, ho I hope it's coming. I hope the sound and video is at least adequate enough. But look how cute that looks. The Invisible Tom. That's so cute. I love that they're um, just promoting the monsters, universal classic monsters in many ways. I'm um, obviously in the horror makeup show they do it uh, in HHN in the past couple of years they had some monster themed houses and just uh, a lot of the merch that's coming out especially in the old school store in City Walk. I forget the name of it but it's the, it's the merchandise store that sells like old school stuff um, from back in the day but I do like that they're getting people used to seeing the universal monsters because it's going to be a huge part of epic universe and for me that's what I'm looking forward to the most in a big universe. The, um, the uh, Monsterverse, I forget what they call it, but uh, the Universal Classic Monsters land that they're building over there. I think it's gonna be excellent. I'm sorry, I have to keep hitting the back because the screen goes off, so I'm not sure if it's exactly recording, so I just wanna make sure. Okay, so I'll shut up and let's open. You know what, as I'm actually opening these up, I'm gonna take the pin backs off and I'm going to display them on this board. That way we could see um, any doubles we have, or we can see what's left in the set to get. So, so we're gonna display this. So we got Invisible Tom. Let's see. What we have here. It's beautiful here in Claremont. Nice and windy. We always get like kind of windy, cool nights here in Claremont because we're on the hilly part of Florida. Oh, very cool. We got Mummy Stewart. The sun's going in and out, guys. So I'm sorry about the light, but we got Mummy Stewart. 
Very cool. All right, I'm going to take the back off. Are you guys a fan of the classic monsters? Is this something when you go to Universal, do you like, um, you know, you do like that property? Are you, look, are you looking forward to it in the Epic Universe? Um, I really am. I just, I just can't wait for it. Uh, I've seen some YouTube videos about the, um, the park and the land and from what I heard. I think it looks awesome. It's going to be awesome. All right, so there's our pins so far. Just to recap, we got Invisible Tom and Mummy Stewart. All right, let's go. Second box time. Let me fix you over here. You're falling. All right, here we go. I love pin collecting, guys. Um, my biggest tip, tip that I can give you about pin collecting is that you pick two or three kind of like themes to stick with. Like we do on the Disney side, we do Epcot, we do holidays. Uh, seasonal stuff. We do events, only events that we've been to, and of course we do Chippendale, our favorite. Um, and on the on the Universal side, I'll do anything monsters or anything cute like The Simpsons and stuff. So um, I will say this: don't you know these are expensive, uh, but don't freak out if you get like um, multiples of the same kind. You should always look online and trade with people or use them as traders in the park. All right, we'll pick this up. You guys are gonna get the first look. I'm not even gonna look at it. I'm not sure if I'm holding it upside down. Ah! Creature Mel. Creature Mel, that's so cool. Creature Mel. Look at him. There's the backing. Universal uses the star backings. How cute is he? So cute. Arr, okay, very cool. All right, let me put him on here. Let me readjust that. All right, very cool. I'm loving this. Okay, the second one in the second pack. Oh, very cool. This is the one I was looking forward to getting the most. Monster Bomb. How cool does he look? They actually have a plush of him in the Universal Store right inside uh, USF. Uh, and I almost got it, but I'm like, you know, we have enough plushes, but... This is so cool, I love that, look. He looks so happy, doesn't he? All right, we're gonna move on, that's really cool. Let me put him on. I'll show you what we have so far. Here we go, we have Monster Bob, Creature Mel, Invisible Tom, Mummy Stewart, that's pretty cool. We have four packs to go. I don't want to jinx it and say we have a decent chance, but we kind of do because we have, out of the six, we have four of them already. The only ones we need are uh, Count Dave Acula. We need the Dracula one, and we need the Chaser. We need Zombie Tim. So let's see if we can get those. Um, we have four more to open, so let's do this. That would be sick if this box, like, we got the whole set. What would I do with the other three? Maybe I wouldn't even open them. Maybe I would use them as a giveaway or so. All right. This one's a little hard to open. It feels like one I opened before. So let's see. This one's a pain in the ass. All right. It's finally open. The camera. Ah, okay. Monster Bob. Duplicate, our first duplicate, Monster Bob, and that's okay. First of all, that's okay, because he's the one I wanted the most. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna see if, uh, I'm gonna get to the end. If I could get them all, obviously I'm gonna keep my set. Uh, and if anyone else out there is collecting these and you need uh, one that I have, an extra, just hit us up on social media and I'll be glad to uh, trade with you or even send it to you, so. I'd be very happy to do that. So I'm going to put, uh, here we go, duplicate of Monster Bob right there. I put the, du the dupes underneath each other. All right, let's go. Oh, ah, okay. We got a duplicate of the Invisible Tom. Cool, cool. I like how these look, by the way. Um, they're kind of, they're not exact, no, they're not rubber at all. Usually the rubber ones are kind of pronounced and sticking out a little bit. These aren't rubber, but they have a heft to them and you know they just have like a design and a feel to them that you know pin traders know like there's some pins that are like okay this is kind of cheap but then there are some pins that are pretty significant 
and pretty cool. And they're just, you know, the design is really cool. You have to really, really be into, I mean, you don't have to, but pin traders know like what I'm talking about. Okay. All right, three more boxes to go. Did I jinx myself? Let's see. By the way, uh, these are 19, oh, 20 bucks. Yeah, exactly 20 bucks, but with your discount, always, always, always do not forget, no matter what type of pass you have, to ask about a discount. That goes for anywhere on Universal Property. It can't hurt to ask, right? The worst they can say is no. I know the hotels don't really take them with the resorts because they're a third, third uh, party property in Lowe's, but even sometimes, I'll just still ask there anyway because it's worth it. It's just worth, I mean, it's the worst they can say is no, right? So. Please don't remember, I mean, don't forget to use your pass. I think it's good on most things except for um, alcohol. Alcohol stuff. okay. Ah, we got another monster Bob. That's our third monster Bob. We're gonna keep going. Let me put him on the board. Let's see. If this is gonna be, this might be the mummy guy. Again. I mean, not the mummy, the invisible guy. <gasps> yes. All right, very cool. He looks awesome. We got Count Dave Acula. How cool does he look? That is awesome. That's so cool. I almost like him better than Monster Bob. How cool is he? That's awesome. That means we have one more pin left in the set. <sighs> Can we get that chaser pin? We shall see. All right, let me put the garbage over here. We have two boxes left to go. All right, now I'm getting nervous. Pin traders know the feeling of needing just one more. And when it gets down to the wire. Ah, okay, so we got Creature Mel again, which is cool. That's cool. You love Creature Mel. So I'm just going to give you a look at what it looks like. We have almost a complete set at the top. We're looking for uh, Zombie Tim, which is the chaser. Uh, these are our duplicates so far. Uh, creature, the monster. And, I always forget the name. Creature, the monster, and Invisible, oh no. Yeah, Invisible Tom. All right, this is our last box. Let's see. It doesn't feel like it's the chaser. Uh -uh. Let's see what we got to do, Pope. Ah, we got Invisible Tom again. So he's our third Invisible Tom in the set. That's okay. That's okay. I'm really happy I got what I wanted, though. Monster Bob and... I didn't know I wanted it, but... When I opened it, I was really, really surprised to see uh, how good the Dracula minion looks. Um, so I got the ones I wanted, so I can't be upset, but it would be cool to get the whole set. Ah, okay, so we got Monster Bob yet again. Okay, this is our fourth Monster Bob, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, so let me just show you guys what it finally looks like. So there's our board right here. So we have all the duplicates. We have straight across the board. That's almost the whole set except for the chaser pin. Uh, but we have those duplicates right here. So I want to let you guys know, if you were collecting these um, and you need any of the duplicates I have, or if you're not collecting these and you're still interested in some of the duplicates I have, just shoot me a message on social media and I'm always good about replying right back right away. So yeah, just hit me up and I'll be happy to oblige and talk to you about the pins. Um, and if you have that chaser pin out there, also hit me up. If you have that chaser pin and you need some of these, definitely hit me up because then we can do a trade. But um, guys, I had a lot of fun opening these pins with you. I hope you're having a great fall season so far. Um, I'm about all the things pumpkin. I'm about to decorate my house tonight for uh, the fall, and I'm excited. So I hope you had a fun uh, opening these with me, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Whoa, whoa. Here. Oh 
my God. Guys, so I ended the video um, and I was packing up materials to throw out some of the trash and I forgot or I just saw that I didn't open one of the pins. I, I guess I thought I did and I didn't. So I opened up the last pin and look what it is. It's the chaser pin. It's zombie Tim. How awesome is that? So I had to come on again and just kind of let you guys know. We got the whole complete set. How amazing is that? What an awesome surprise. That's great. So let me put him on here. And there we go. There's the complete Minion Monster Mystery Pin Set for HHN 32 2023. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed uh, coming along with me for the ride and opening these pins. So happy you got the complete set. Now I will officially end the video and thank you again for your support and we'll see you next time.